motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Hey, 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 peace and greetings to you. This is Queen. This episode, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite conversations and subjects is creating. Consciously create. Consciously create the life that you want. Consciously create the feelings that you want to feel, the emotions that you want to have, the experiences that you want to have, the love that you want to have, the job that you want to have, the family that you want to have, the whatever you want to have. (laughs) You're magical. You, my friend, are magical. Let's talk about this. One of my quotes from yours truly, you can consciously create with the divine or be enslaved to your ego. It's your choice. Think about that. We are all manifestors. We are all co-creators with the divine. The problem is, is we have been unconscious of this magnificent reality that we have inside of us. You know, conversations that I overhear, and I'm sure you overhear as well, people can rattle off for days upon days of all the things that they don't want. They can tell you a whole, probably novel's worth of what it is that they don't want. Now, here's the thing about that. The universe has ears. Divine consciousness has ears. You may call that universe, that divine consciousness, that infinite intelligence, you may call that God, has ears, always listening. Listening to the words that you think, as well as listening to the words that you speak. Once you speak words, you truly, truly throw it out into the ether and put vibration behind it. So as you're rattling off this list of everything that you don't want, guess what you're getting back and manifesting that's showing up in your life? Yeah, all the stuff that you don't want. So you have to be conscious of your thoughts. You have to be conscious of the words that you speak. So this is going to be a short episode because this formula is really simple. It's a simple, simple formula. It should be taught in grade school. But obviously, you know, the uh, school system has a different agenda. So now, let's look at this. How do you create the life you want? First thing you want to do is write out a list of what it is that you want. Don't tell me what you don't want. Write out a list of what it is that you want. Next thing, create pictures, either on your computer or print them out, you know, and you can make a collage and you can put it on your bathroom mirror so you can see it every day or you can post it uh, above your bed or on your wall, wherever it is that you will see this every single day. Visualization is a part of this process, okay? Now, next step, each morning and every single night, You're going to sit still and you're going to envision these desires, right? You're going to um, envision that it has already taken place. Because in actuality, if you envision it, it has already taken place, (laughs) right? This is a multi-dimensional universe. 
So the dimension right above this third dimension is the astral dimension. It's where you dream and all of that, and you envision. That, that's reality as well, right? Some people say, well, you know, Queen, I don't want to lie to myself. You're not lying to yourself. I used to think that same way. You're not lying to yourself because once you have thought it through and envisioned it in your mind, it is so. And that's the next thing is you give thanks. You give thanks as it is already done. Why? Because you already envisioned it. Okay, so let's go back, run through these steps real quick. First thing is you write out a list of what it is that you want. Do not put anything that you don't want to show up in your life only things that you want. Create pictures either on your computer or print out for you to see on a daily basis. Put it on your bathroom mirror, put it on your wall, on your office desk, wherever you're gonna see this every single day. Each morning and every single night, you're gonna sit still and you're gonna envision these desires, right? You're gonna, you're gonna become one with these desires. You're gonna feel the emotions that these things bring you. You're gonna feel the joy. You're gonna feel all of that, right? Right now. And the next thing is you're gonna give thanks. Why? Because it's already done. Ashe, and so it is. All right, so these are a list of do nots with this process. Do nots with this process, very, very important. Don't share your desires with others. Why? They'll try to talk you out of it. They'll try to sabotage you, especially if you have desires that people feel are impossible. Only things are impossible until someone actually does it. Okay? Until someone actually does it. So don't share your desires with others. Now, if you have someone that's really, 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 really vibrating on your frequency that you can kind of share these different intimate little things, then that may be okay. Uh, but that's, you know, slim to none in most cases. So, you know, don't share your desires with others. Next thing, don't allow negative thoughts to tell you that you can't have it. Okay. Think of yourself uh, as being, this is the way I, I think about life is I'm a painter and earth is my canvas. And I get to paint out, draw out, whatever experience, emotion, feeling, desire that I'm choosing for myself in any given moment. <laughs> Artistic expression, beautiful thing, right? So don't allow negative thoughts to tell you that you can't have it because you absolutely can. If you thought of it, if the, the thought entered into your awareness, then you absolutely have the skills, the resources and everything to actually have it. All right. So don't start. This is not a, a, a process where you start to try to figure out how it's going to manifest. That's not, that's not of, of you. It's not your job. Okay. That's, that's not your job. So just do this process. Next thing. Don't consume negative media, including especially social media, including especially social media. I can't tell you how many social media accounts of mine that I've totally shut down. I probably uh, spend maybe less than an hour per week on social media. I don't even use it. Um, to get business anymore. Like if people find me, they find me, but it's not something active that I do because there's just so much negativity. I don't want to be a part of that. It's just low vibration. I don't want to be a part of that. So don't consume negative media, including social media. This also may be negative people that's in your circle. Okay. Next thing is don't speak ill or have negative emotions or feelings towards others. Don't speak ill or have negative emotions or feelings towards others. You can't have those type of emotions and then expect your desires and the things that you want to consciously create to manifest. It doesn't work that way. You got to be operating from a love frequency 
from a love frequency, highest frequency in the universe. The gravity of love holds this entire dimension together. And when you can get into that frequency, you can align yourself with that vibration, whatever it is that you want to consciously create, you absolutely can create. So again, let's run through the list of do nots. Don't share your desires with others. Don't allow negative thoughts to tell you that you can't have it. Don't consume negative media, including social media. Don't speak ill or have negative emotions or feelings towards others. All right. Now, this is the do with this process. These are things that you are going to do, right? One, do act as if. What do I mean by that? Well, act as if. You've already envisioned what it is that you want to consciously create, what you want to manifest, what you're desiring. You've envisioned it in your mind, okay? Say it's living abroad, right? I want you to get into your mind, get into the, 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 the feeling, the emotions, smell how it's going to smell, wherever it is that you're choosing to live, the flowers, the beach, the friends, the experiences. I want you to get so deep into that thought process, right? And you are acting as if, okay? All you're doing is really switching realities. <laughs> That's all you're doing. We're playing, we're playing mind games on ourselves. Okay? Playing mind games on ourselves. That's all this is. A whole big old ball of consciousness. All right? Next thing to do. Do feel appreciation. Do feel gratitude. Do feel unconditional love. You know, I was once told that you don't get what you think in this life, you get who you become. You get who you are. You manifest who you are, right? So appreciation, gratitude, and unconditional love and acting as if, once you've consciously created, wrote down a list of all your desires and wants, and you do this process over and over and over and over, and you discard any low vibration, negative emotions, negative people, negative social media. You discard all of that crap, okay? That crap is going to be there, right? But you're vibrating on a higher frequency, on a higher dimension. So those things that you're choosing are also vibrating on those higher frequencies and higher dimensions. That's how you tune into it and attract it. It's a wave. It's a wave, just like a radio wave, how you tune a station to a certain uh, radio station. It's the exact same thing. You are tuning your frequency to the frequency of your desires. Try it. See how it works for you. Peace and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.